Okay, in this video, let's have a closer look at this relationship of S compared to R, which gives an angle in, th in radians of theta. Let's say we have a full circle. Now, the arc length of a full circle, I'm not even going to draw a picture for this, the arc length of a full circle is just the circumference of the circle, which we know from our lower school is just pi d. So, arc length pi d compared to the radius of the full circle will give you the angle as measured in radians for a full circle. You should know that pi d is equivalent to 2 pi r because the diameter is the same as 2 times the radius of a circle, the pi is the same thing. So I'm comparing the arc length of a full circle, which is 2 pi r, compared to its radius, and that will give you the angle as measured in radians for a full circle. This is a fraction. Radius and radius can cancel. Share by r, you get 1. Share by r, you get 1. You're left with an answer that 2 pi is the size of the angle for a circle in radians. So what you need to take from this is very simple. 2 pi radians is equivalent in degrees, which we should know, to be 360 degrees. Now you need to adapt this to remember certain other key angles. If you share this by 2, you get pi rads is the same as share by 2, 180 degrees. You need to know that. Share by 2 again, pi by 2 rads or pi over 2 rads. Share by 2, 90 degrees it's the same as. Share by 2 again, you get a quarter pi or pi by 4. You get 45 degrees if you share that by 2. If I go back to pi, 180 degrees. If I share that by 3, you get pi by 3. Share that by 3, 180 share by 3 is 60 degrees. You've got to learn that. Go back to pi again, share it by 6. So take that and share by 6, you get 30 degrees. All of these things here, including the 2 pi at the top, are specific comparisons between radians and degrees that you need to learn off by heart. They're very useful when you're coming to do calculus calculations with integration. The only other thing I would mention at this stage is it might be useful somehow to know what one degree is in radians sometimes. So if you imagine going back to that and saying, well, let's go back to this one here, 180 degrees, if you share it by 180, you get one degree. So simply take the pi and share that by 180 and you get pi over 180 radians is the same thing as one degree. That is very useful to learn as well. Now, you can use this one to adapt to get various other awkward angles. So, for example, if you had 7 degrees, that's just 7 times as big. So, times that by 7, you'd get 7 pi by 180 rads. If you had 13 degrees, 13 degrees, it's 13 times as big. So, 13 times that is 13 pi over 180. Now, these I wouldn't learn off by heart. I just learn those off by heart, know how to apply them and I'd learn that off by heart, and you can always adapt that to get awkward angles such as 7 degrees, 13 degrees, 31 degrees, or whatever. That's the end of this video.